Sunday night baseball between the Yankees and the Red Sox last week was insane. The amount of weird stuff that happened from the seventh inning on was wild. It's tied at two, bottom seven. Red Sox have the go-ahead run on second. And look at all the bald heads in the crowd. You know that two out of three men will experience some form of male pattern balding, and you can prevent that from happening to you by going to keeps.com slash John Boy, and then you won't be bald if you don't want to be bald. If you want to be bald, do you. No one cares. I like my hair, though. I appreciate it. Two to two. Here's the pitch. Strike in the zone. And Kike says, oh, okay. Probably swing at those next time, Bat. What do you think? Let's take a nice hack. And bam. Swings at it. But now he's down 0-2. And Chad goes fastball high to set up the curveball away. Gets the call from Joe West. And Kike's like, come on, dude. Can the crowd rings him up. Joe West had been calling the outside pitcher strike all game, though. So at this point... Pitchers and catchers were kind of just game planning around it. You can see that's that pitch right there. And then earlier in the game, that pitch never clips the edge, but Joe West called it. That pitch is outside. Joe West called it. This pitch is outside to Gardner. Joe West called that a strike. This pitch is outside to Stanton. He called that a strike. And that's like the same exact pitch that we just saw to Kike Hernandez. Both of them overlaid over each other. Same exact pitch. So at least he's consistently pissing batters off. Next pitch to Swarbers popped up. DJ's going to camp under it. The third out, escape the inning, get out of it. And oh my God, he drops it and they are laughing at him. <laughs> uh, bitch. Oh, oh, you suck. <laughs> uh, he did suck in that moment. Ball just came back on him, came back on him. He dropped it. The at-bat continues. Chad goes fastball down the middle. He fouls that one out of play. And Chad goes fastball upstairs, fastball outside. Oh, Joe West, I thought we were calling outside pitch strikes. Brett Gardner's pitch was just like that, and it got called a strike. I guess he's not being consistent after all. Who would have thunk it? This pitch is put in play. Gallo. Gets under it, gets under it, gets under it, gets under it. He drops it. I'm on the live stream. I die. Who's there? Who's there? Oh, Jesus Christ. The go-ahead run is going to score, but Gallo throws Schwarber out at second to end the inning. It's a bit of a saving grace, but not really. And this guy says, are you kidding me? And his friend says, what? What happened? he says, he dropped it. And he says, what? I, I love this baseball sport. This guy's straight out of the Beck Bennett skit. Maybe when you get back, we can finally go on that camping trip we've always been talking about. Okay, we continue on. Wade is at first base. It's a 3-1 count. The Yankees are trying to tie the game on some drops of their own, and let's see if they can do it. Wade is going to take off on the 3-1 pitch. One, two, three. He's off. DJ does not swing at the ball down the middle. Wade gets thrown out in a really weird way, and uh, Velasquez shoots him dead. Boom, boom. Bam. Wade's dead. You see him laying there dead. He pulled up because he thought DJ swung at it and fouled it, so he stopped running. In the dugout, he's going to tell his teammate, I thought he fouled that shit off, bro. And she was like, no, he didn't even swing. He's I heard it, though. I heard that in my ear. Anyway, Rizzo takes the 2-1 pitch. DJ ended up getting to first, and Rizzo sends that into the gap, but neither of them have that much speed, so DJ does not score, and Rizzo gets to second, and it's scary, and it's like, why'd you do that? And he unstraps his gloves, and he says, hey, Bobby, was it close? And it's like, close to what? Close to a home run or close to you getting thrown out because this is where the fielder had that ball. If he decides to just throw to second there, it's probably an out, but he doesn't listen to Bogarts, I believe, and just throws it into the pitcher. So now Judge is up, and he's got two on. The tying runs at third base, and all he's got to do is hit one in the air to get himself a sack fly. It's a one-two count. That's in the air the wrong way. Bobby Dahlback underneath it, and he drops it. So now we got three just straight drops by fielders to prolong at bats or to have run score just right out of reach. Man, sloppy game. <sighs> Good masculine claps by Cora. Judge fouls that one back. That one he fouls back. One, two again. Does he strike out? Oh, no. Does the catcher drop it? Did he catch it? What happened? Joe West says that he did not catch the third strike. And what happens actually is kind of interesting because Judge foul tips this. And you can see he moves it a little bit. And it goes higher in the catcher's glove than he expects. So when he goes to grab the ball, he puts his hand where it normally sits in the pocket. But the ball is higher up. And it just rolls right over his hand due to that. He obviously caught that. 
and dropped it on the transfer. But Joe West doesn't, I mean, he doesn't really have a great vantage point of that, and they don't allow you to challenge it. So this at-bat continues, kind of a flaw in the rule. For is like, uh, can we do anything about it? And they're like, no, we just got to keep playing. And he says, okay, let's keep playing. The very next pitch is a fastball, and Judge smacks it into left center field. That's going to score two runs. Judge is going to come sliding into second. He's excited. He's safe. The Yankees take the lead. Look at this. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Boom, boom, and Rizzo points him out, and then he's like, oh, shit, I think I'm hurt, though. Like, what happened? He says, my finger dislocated when I slid. Like, what? Yeah, my pinky finger got jammed up and dislocated and then was just wagging around all loosey-goosey as I celebrated. So they had to to tape his pinky finger to his other finger. They're friends now, those two fingers. They're just chilling. Pinky goes wherever that finger goes. The next batter is uh, Giancarlo Stan, and he's going to hit an absolute moonshot over the national sign. Bam! Just the monster of a home run. A home run so monstrous, it makes the green monster look small. And I love the reactions, and we got a really good race on first man up between these two kids. I'm going to give it to the kid on the left, and I don't know if it's because he's taller or maybe he's just standing more upright but he wins it some other good reactions from this shot though just so many mouths open oh 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 and then they showed this kid he's just like what the fuck what did i just watch what is this game what was any of that Why did it feel crisp, but it was so sloppy? How could such bad baseball be so entertaining? At least I have my hair, and you guys can keep your hair too. If you go to keeps.com slash jumbo, you get 50% off your first order of hair loss treatment. And thank Keeps for sponsoring this video.